Welcome or welcome back to Cooking with Frenchie. Cooking and baking made easy. Today's recipe it's about a fruit puree. I would call it a fruit sauce. That's what we call in French terminology a coulis. A coulis it's a beautiful fruit sauce and you can use with your desserts as a side sauce. You can use it as well with your fresh yogurt, Greek yogurt as well. It's a very nice little sauce. But we also use it in different preparation. A fruit coulis or fruit puree can be used for bavaroa, a beautiful mousse cake. But you can also have a little adaptation uh, to do a sorbet out of it. So this is a basic sauce. I'm going to show you how to make a raspberry fruit coulis today. And I'm sure we will do many, many more coulis all together from my kitchen to your kitchen. So before we proceed, Make sure you subscribe as usual, you change your notification bell setting, you also give me a like, share it to the world, and you will find the recipe under this video in the description. Okay, so let's start and let's cook a stop in your kitchen. All I need for this recipe is a bit of sugar, a bit of raspberry. They're not in season here in Australia at the moment, so I'm using frozen raspberry. I will use half a lemon and a bit of water. Easy recipe, easy to remember. Same amount of water, same amount of fruit, same amount of sugar. You could choose any other fruit if you want. That's no problem. What I'm going to do first is to put my water into the saucepan also my sugar and I will bring that to a boil for about three to five minutes I want to have a syrupy consistency so let's get to the stove switch on your stove bit of a moderate heat and we are going to bring that to a boiling motion. This is a very nice boiling motion. We're getting a very, very nice little syrup. The syrup is ready. You can see. So what I'm going to do now. All I do now is to put my frozen raspberry inside the syrup. Give it a little bit of stir and let it cool down. Like now. Another thing, some people like to cook their fruit. Cooking your fruit makes it more of a compote. I like to put my fruit after in the syrup because it really, really keep the vibrant color of the fruit. So, nice lemon juice. I can put a little strain on top just to make sure that I don't have any seeds or pips of the lemon. Just half a lemon juice should be enough, just like so. Keep that and I will wait five to ten minutes until this is totally cooled down. I transfer that to this cup and I'm going to give it a little blitz. So now my fruit puree has cooled down. I can transfer it into a jug. I could really blitz it as it is. Gonna use a hand blender here oh. and get 
give it a nice little burst. Better be safe, leave it on the bench. That's it. Once you're done, clean bowl and again your strainer. Remove that safely. Just there. Up. Uh, and as you see here inside, maybe you don't see or hopefully you see, it's still the, all the little seed of the coulis, of the raspberry really. And we don't want this, we want something a little bit neater. So try to find a fine conical strainer, you're still going to have a few seeds inside. But at least you will try to remove as many as possible. Use a spoon and just lift a little bit the strainer and look at the amount of seed that we are removing from the coulis. And voila! And here our beautiful little fruit puree. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to have a few little seeds. If you have a conical strainer or strainer, a sieve that it's finer, it's better. Uh, but look at this sauce. Napping and coating consistency as we want, always. That's due to the density of your syrup. A beautiful with pies, beautiful with cakes. Um, I'm going to serve that for a dinner party with the creme brulee on the side, uh, but that will also could be a base for a bavawa or mousse cake. One of these we are going to glaze. I could also make a raspberry jelly out of it, add more gelatin to it and let it set. Uh, the possibilities you can do with this are endless. And don't forget, if you are still in summer, you can make a sorbet.